Hi, it's Ryan from Nights Around a Table, and this is Ripley the Cat and Pippin the Cat. And this is a game called Cat Lady, a set collecting card game for two to four players, which inexplicably doesn't have a solo player mode. Let us show you how to play. You and your friends play cat lovers, collecting, feeding, and entertaining a variety of adorable kitties. You earn points at the end of the game by collecting cats, feeding them the foods they like, entertaining them with toys and catnip, and dressing them up in costumes, because cats love that. The cats are named after famous felines like Nikola Tesla's childhood pet Macaque, or cat lovers like T.S. Eliot, who wrote a series of poems about cats that were the basis for Andrew Lloyd Webber's smash hit Broadway musical, Hamilton. On your turn, you take a row or column of three cards into your hand. You can't take cards that are blocked by the cat token, so these cards are okay to take, but these cards aren't. After taking your cards, reposition the cat token to block the row or column you just took, and replenish the cards. Fill them in left to right, top to bottom, to avoid any accusations of shenanigans. Any cats you collect go out in front of you. Any food cards you take, chicken, tuna, and milk, get discarded and converted to chicken, tuna, and milk tokens. Some cards give you double food tokens, and some give you wild purple food for people who like to feed their cats, I don't know, Pop-Tarts? Each cat you collect likes to eat certain foods. Fail to feed your cats, or have too much food left over at the end of the game, and you lose points. Keep cat costumes, toys, and catnip cards in your hand until the game is over. At any time during your turn, you can exchange two lost cat cards for one of these stray cats. Each game only has three strays. The cards don't get replenished when the stray cats are collected. Stray cats offer valuable bonuses. Instead of taking a stray cat, you can exchange your two lost cat cards for a token worth two points. You can play as many lost cat cards on your turn as you like. You can also play a spray bottle at any point during your turn to move the cat token. If you use the spray bottle before taking your cards, you move the cat, allowing you to take the cards it was blocking. Then you move the cat back to block the row or column you just took from, as usual. If you play a spray bottle after taking your cards, you can move the cat to block a row or column for the next player. You can play multiple spray bottles on your turn. A game of Cat Lady ends when the police discover your body in your apartment after the neighbors complain about a funny smell, and the rookie cop throws up in the corner because most of your face has been chewed off. Probably by LeVar Purton. That or there aren't enough fresh cards to replenish the tableau. At the end of the game, each fully fed cat gains you the victory points listed on the left side of the card. Each underfed cat makes you lose 2 VP, regardless of the points on the card. A cat is either fed or not fed. Cats can't eat only some of their food or only half of your face, so they'll lose you points. This cat wants two chicken, and you've only got one chicken. So the cat doesn't eat any chicken, and this food token counts as surplus. The player with the most leftover food loses two points. If a cat is unfed, its special abilities don't trigger. Cats are either black, orange, white, or a combination. Some cats give you bonus points for collecting other cats of a certain color, because those cats are racist. The player with the most costumes gets six points. If there's a tie, the tied players split the six points evenly. If you don't have any costumes, you lose two points. If you have too many costumes, your cats lose every shred of their dignity. If you have four or more catnip cards, you get two points for every fully fed cat. Two or three catnip cards will get you one point per fully fed cat. If you only have one catnip card, you lose two points because your cats are totally jonesing for it. I need it, man! If you have zero catnip and you never got your cats hooked on that junk to begin with, you don't lose any points. Each set of unique toys gets you more and more points. A set with one unique toy gets you one point. Then two toys for three points, three for five, four for eight, and five for twelve. The toys stack in sets, so this set would earn you eight points. This set would earn you five points, even though there are some repeats from the first set. And this one gets you a single point. Whichever cat lady earns the most points wins the game, but ultimately loses at life.
To set up the game, shuffle the stray cat cards and deal out three to the table. If you're playing with three players, chuck out all the cards with a four in the corner. In a two-player game, chuck out the three plus and four cards. In both cases, get rid of two additional cards at random. Shuffle the deck and deal nine cards to the table. Whichever player has the most cats in real life is the starting player. The player sitting counterclockwise from the starting player decides which row or column to block with the cat token. Play begins with the start player and continues clockwise, and ends when LeVar Purden meows down on your delicious lips. And now you're ready to play Cat Lady. Did you just watch that whole thing? Oh, hey, to 100% this video, click the badge to subscribe and then click the bell to get notifications when I've got new stuff.